Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we have got a special for you, yep, it is Sarah Ingham, first time leaving the house with baby girl. Now, I was under the impression, don't quote me on this, but did she not do that the other day? She went to Aldi, yeah, she took the baby girl to Aldi. But, uh, yeah, no, this is the first time leaving the house with baby girl because it makes clickbait. Even though it's not, not even true. And even the iFam will know it's not true. So I don't get it, right? I don't get it. Anyway, they're going to leave the house. They're going to go out for the day or somewhere. They're going somewhere. God knows where. Let's find out. Look at how cute you look, you stinkingly cute little girl. Oh, look, Sarah's got a baby on her again. Yet again. Is that thing attached to you, Sarah? Is that thing attached to you? Yes, I know I'm calling her a thing, but, you know, it's not my baby. And uh, hence why you shouldn't be showing it to me. But, you know, <laughs> I'm, I don't rule your life. So, you know, you crack on. It was not cute, it was screaming her head off when I was trying to get the car. Mm. Why they're so hard to get their arms in? Yeah, that's good though. No, but it's like it fits alright. Oh no, oh no, oh, no. no. no where's, the, where's the actual leg? Oh, the leg oh, starts oh. right there. Oh, there's the toes. <laughs> oh well, at least hey, at least it'll be warm. Fit, it means it'll fit for a while. Yeah. Usually the little little first size clothes only fit for like a week or so. This might fit for a little bit longer. Oh. I'm going to walk and I'm going to collect loads of stuff in this and then put them under my microscope. Look how they look. So we're going for a walk and I just collect some things from my microscope. Yes, we chat. When we get home, I'm going to put all my weights under my bed. Oh, me and Jace are collecting, and Mila. And I'm mama. What are we collecting? Leaves. We're collecting leaves. Um, and yeah, yeah, any yeah, treasures mama. we can find. Is, so is your bucket? With. Is that one mine? Yep. Yeah, well, can I'm you hold it for me? Because I'm holding baby wavy right now. Hmm. You just I'm hold it for me. My I'm going to put the sling on her. I'll be able to hold it when I've got the sling on, okay? Okay. Oh, I can't even tell you guys how nice it feels to get out of the house. Don't you think it feels so nice? Just be out in the fresh air, walking. I don't know, Sarah. You're, like, you may have been sort of attached to the sofa that, for the past couple of weeks, but Chris is, um, you know, free as a bird. He can go out if he wants to. Just because you don't go out doesn't mean he can't go out, doesn't mean the kids can't go out. You see where I'm going with this? Just because one person in that family does one thing doesn't mean the entire family has to come to a standstill. Chilling, loving life, baby girl's fast asleep. And uh, to be honest, the main reason that I wanted, to, well, I obviously wanted to come out for a walk today, but we're going for a big day out tomorrow, like a big family day out, um, where we're going to be out like all day long, from morning until night. And because I've not been out yet with Aurora in the sling or the pram, I just wanted to test it out, wanted to see how she'd do, wanted to see if she'd settle in it, if she'd be happy and okay in it, if she'd sleep in it. So this is like a little taster practice run that's what we'll call it to make sure she's okay and happy in the sling so we don't have a miserable day tomorrow <laughs> so you don't have a miserable day damn that baby right could has the p potential to ruin your day out i know i know how do the, do the other kids know that uh, your joy on their day out uh, rests solely on whether or not the baby has a good day um, and also for myself as well, just to make sure I'm not, I guess, trying to run before I can walk, so to speak. Don't worry, guys. She means metaphorically, okay? She's not literally going to go for a run, <laughs> you know. I'd love to see that, though, wouldn't you? <laughs> Running. For a cesarean. To be fair, I've actually felt pretty good since about a week old so about eight days after day six i really started to feel much much better like properly back to myself my normal self the first four or five days were rough oh gosh they were so much harder than i was ever imagining it would be 
Yep, because you thought it would be a walk in the park, didn't you, Sarah? You know, notwithstanding you actually giving birth and everything, but it is actually major surgery that you went through. They actually took a, an entire human out of your belly, you know. That's um, no small procedure, so I don't know what you were actually expecting. Um, but after about a week, I actually felt back to normal, and I actually accidentally picked Mila up just... Re just like reaction she came up to me and I just picked her up and I was like oh gosh I shouldn't do that but it didn't hurt or anything I felt absolutely fine the girl the kids are talking to a neighbor thank you Bye. have a lovely Bye. afternoon Bye. um well, it was the neighbour, was it? Well, yeah, because you live in a, a village of about five people. So uh, I wonder if it's um, one of those that live... <laughs> that go on tattle. That would be funny, wouldn't it? I forgot what I was saying now. Yeah, so I actually felt really good. Come on. I felt really good after a week. Incidentally, Sarah, don't you feel a little bit embarrassed? You know, you're walking along a nice country lane and uh, one of the neighbours walks up to you and you've got a camera stuck in your face talking to nobody. Doesn't that not sort of embarrass you, shame you? You know, you live in quite a nice area, so it just must look a bit, you know, a little bit off. And then... Two weeks has gone by now, actually 17 days, and I do feel good. The only thing I will say is coughing and sneezing still hurts, hurts. Um, uh, yeah, I feel pretty good. I don't think I've ever, we've never walked this way before. Oh, no, it's cool. This is cool. This is a new way. I walked walk, here with my friend. Yeah, Isla walked this way with a friend, and she came out with her friend and her friend's parents. Um, and they walked around this way. So I was like, can we go this way? This is where I go with my friend. But uh, we've never walked around this way. Oh, so Isla's got a friend, has she? <laughs> really? Okay, so um, now we've discovered that Isla's got a friend. You've got a neighbour that's very close, you know, very... Um, so anybody else that we should know about in this village of yours? So Bloody hell. Any normal person would have cut that out, but not these, not these, no. We needed to hear um, all their children screaming over each other at the same time. You know, it just makes for regular family, family life, I guess. <laughs> so basically, not only was that a very successful little walking trip with Aurora for the first time, she's only just waking up now that we've come in. In fact, nope, she's still snuggling. No, she's not moved the whole time. But whilst we've been out, Esme <laughs> has literally cleaned the whole kitchen. This was this was a mess when we left. All the breakfast bowls are still out. The lunchtime stuff was still out, and it was a, a bit of a mess. Thank you, Es. So nice when you come in, and it's like. All You're been welcome. done, thank you. Also on the walk back, just when we got back into our our street, we bumped into Isla's friend was in the garden. It's okay, I don't think he said it. Um, Isla's friend was in the garden, in her garden with her dad, and they have a massive conker tree in their garden. So they were like, come in and pick some conkers. So you guys went in and picked some conkers. Yeah, Where are they? Are they your buckets? Yeah. I love how Sarah's going to great lengths to uh, show that her kids have friends and everything, you know. It's almost as if she's trying too hard, really. Here's your buckets. So look, Isles. Come and show me. I've got them 
<gasps> oh my goodness, there's a big boulder rock in there as well. Yeah, but look, wait, Mara, well, what is called again? I need to watch them. But... A conker. Oh yeah, a conker. I've got a blast conker. Where's yours? You poured it out. You poured it out, Chloe. You poured it out in Chloe's garden. You kept collecting all that stuff and then you poured it out and said, I don't want it. That's exactly what she said. I don't want it. And she went, I need a week, so we're like, oh, let's go. <laughs> so guys, me and Isabel are now going on a little ride on the electric bikes to the shop. The shop. Yeah, to get some more bits. We've not done this since Portugal. I know. I'm Literally so since Portugal. So we're very excited. You ready, Is? I should have my gloves, man. Yeah, so I know they're going to be so cold. You ready? Yep. Let's go. <laughs> Stuff is what's gonna really unbalance oh, your bag. I'll oh, put it in there. Yeah, put it in that little seat. Because you're gonna end up really falling over with that. <sighs> right, ready right, to go back? Or are you going in? Right. Okay, so we're just back from our walk and I'm going to get busy with some baking and one of mum's friends sent this little still like biscuit kit, so I'm gonna start making that soon. Biscuit kit! <laughs> okay, we measured out the butter, 120 grams. Let's pop this in. Oh, it's quite a lot. <laughs> and now we have to knead it together. I'm going to start with mixing and then do it with my hands. First, wash my hands. Mummy, yeah. I've got to knead it with my hands. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. I'm coming. Hello, Micro. Mila, get down off that blooming table. Hello. Are you chilling? I'm on the other side. Are you a happy girl? Yeah. Oh, Daisy's coming for a hug. Daisy's going for a huggy. Oh, carefully. She's like, yeah, I've always got Jason Mila's head in my face. That's okay. <gasps> Look, she's looking at you. Yes, Mila. What? What? How is it not even 5 p.m. and it's dark outside? I mean, I don't know why I'm actually surprised. It's always like this, this time of year. Can we guys believe that it's actually November in a couple of days? Wow. And you know what that means, don't you? It's Christmas time! It's Christmas time! Christmas It's Christmas time! Chris just took Aurora. <laughs> Jason Miller are desperate to play. <laughs> I'm not even doing anything. Just looking at them both, funny. <laughs> <laughs> Next time they do it, I'm gonna jump up. Okay, there's one thing here that I need to point out right now and that is the kids are running around the kitchen, right? Anybody that knows anything is that do not allow small children to be running around the kitchen when somebody is cooking, right? And Ayla right now is baking and Sarah is the one that's encouraging them to run around the kitchen. So, um, you know, I'm not quite sure but, you know, mother of the year strikes again. <laughs> but do you know what the saddest thing about this is is that sarah is playing with her her kids and she's doing so through a lens she's actually running after them chasing them but has the lens on her on the kids the whole time and that is not really normal is it Sarah um unfortunately you've normalized it for your kids so they think it's normal but it's not your you, it's just it's a very weird feeling seeing them being played with through a lens <laughs> Okay, we need to be careful on this floor, okay? 
Oh no, you're not playing. Yeah, you not don't want to play. That. I don't want to play that. What are you doing? Oh, no, no, no. oh look at her face. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, this nappy's making look like she's got a right big tooth. Sushi bum. What? Oh. Turn to a monster? Okay. <laughs> Problem is, once you start playing with these two, you can't stop. I'm like, I'm absolutely shattered now, guys. I've been running up and down the kitchen. I need to go sort her all out. And like, no, Mama, be a monster, be a monster. The literal Stop it! I'm climbing all over my legs right now. Right. I know it's not recommended to breast pump before six weeks post baby. But I'm so excited to see if expressing works for me this time because it never has in the past. I remember when I first left Jace. Excuse my children laughing at my face. I remember when I first left Jace. I think he was about four months old. And I went out for a night with my sister to like a Michael Jackson tribute concert. And it took me about two weeks to express like a four ounce bottle for him. Can't remember exactly how long, but I know it took me ages, days and days and days. Anyway, I got the Mom Cozy breast pump, the S12 Pro wearable double, and I'm so excited to try it out. I literally cannot wait. The reviews on these. What? Daddy, Daddy. getting you? No, Daddy. Oh, Daddy and Aurora? Yeah. Are they chasing you? Yeah. Woo. Um, the reviews on these are really, really, really awesome. So I'm going to take it out. And even though I'm not going to, because it's obviously I just said it's not recommended to do much pumping before you turn six weeks, that's because it can cause an oversupply. And I've never, ever had an oversupply. I've never actually wore breast pads. I don't need to wear breast pads because I don't leak at all, ever. In our continued quest to improve the breast pumping experience for everyone, we're excited to introduce the S9 Pro and the S12 Pro. New models come with improved functionality, build and appearance for a more convenient, comfortable and efficient experience for any mom. Well, blimey, thank you for reading all that out. It was almost as if I didn't ask, wasn't it? So that was a bit of a weird experience because uh, it's almost as if, don't get me wrong, I don't think it is, uh, you know, because Sarah wouldn't lie to me. It was almost as if it was gifted, wasn't it? Wasn't it? I mean, does she normally read out the full, you know, details of uh, things that she buys? No. Not really. It feels like it's gifted, although she didn't say it was, and it didn't state in the description, so, you know. My children are now literally on one, so it's very loud in here. But I got some of their breast nursing bras, and I cannot tell you what an investment they are. I actually genuinely don't think I'll ever, ever wear another breast pad. What am I talking about? another bra ever ever again in my whole life because it is these are genuinely the most comfortable the most comfortable thing i've ever worn in my entire life and look how pretty they are wow she's gonna show us her bra maybe she's gonna take her kit off who knows maybe you should be switching off at this stage especially if you have young children watching you know nobody needs to see that sarah with like the scallop all around honestly they're so comfortable i've got three of them and i am completely over the moon with them and i might give these a sterilize because i do really want to just give it a go like i said i'm not going to pump regularly before six weeks but i am excited to just give it a go nice babe i can't cope you're gonna laugh your head off when you see what i've just found <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Guys, look at this. A nipple measuring tool with little holes to put your nipples through. <laughs> see how big nipples you've got? <laughs> I'm going to see. That is so funny. What do you reckon? I'm going to guess like 13. Yes, we tap. Wow, that's, a, <laughs> that's an image that everybody needed, wasn't it? 
You've got pert nipples, have you, Sarah? Pert. Yes. Very nice, very nice. I'm sure Chris appreciates it. Of course you can have more juice. See, this is where I feel like I might have gone wrong previously because I actually need the smallest size and I don't, I don't know what this comes with. Oh, that says 24 on there. 24 millimeters so it might be too big because i need the smallest one and I'm, i wonder if you can buy them separate okay aurora's getting a little bit fussy so i think i'm gonna have to try this out another day but i'm wondering if i need to buy a different one of these because this is 24 mil <laughs> don't say that it sounds weird i am excited to use it and see if i can actually express this time wow another day down so uh, one closer to the next van trip is it because your vlogs are getting a little bit tedious you know not an awful lot happening i've got to say and i feel like you're kind of struggling to come up with content given that you have a newborn you know it's almost as if you shouldn't be filming but you know <laughs> what do i know i don't need the money isn't it so until next time guys thank you so much for joining me please give this video a massive thumbs up comment all your thoughts about this down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new until next time take care of yourselves and bye bye